I'm only recently learning more about bodies and emotions because a few years ago I heard that emotions were like good for you and important <laughs> and also bodies instead of like prioritizing the mind uh, that shame actually is there's a there's an aspect of our nervous system that shame it's it's much like trauma there's a shame sort of triggering that takes over how your your body responds in those oh, moments yeah. so it's like much in the same way that PTSD occurs, shame shifts how we experience things. I think Brene Brown talks about it, mm -hmm. too, where she's recognized parts of her, like, patterns of when shame shows up as her ears get hot, and there's something that happens. Did you talk about this, too? Did I, have I said this? I'm having a flashback. I think we, we discussed it a little bit on the first day of class when we were talking about shame. Yeah. On the first day of boot camp, and how shame is, is stored in the body just the way that trauma is. And a lot of people store shame in the same places where they store trauma. So like the pelvic girdle. Yeah. And that's a really big, a really big place where we store shame. And in our, in our asses, because also like our butts, there's so much stuff about our butts in society where we're shamed about it, you know? Yeah. Um, so people actually store shame physically in their body. Like, like your, um, Pooping shame from, from yeah, potty training is exactly. stored in the anus. Yeah, and like, you know, all that Freudian stuff that you learn in like Psych 101 about like, you know, the oral fixation stage and the anal stage and all that, like, Freud is pretty outdated nowadays, but like there is something to that in that, you know, there are parts of our lives that are really, that really focus around certain parts of our body. And if we have traumatizing experiences around those, it can, it can like stunt our growth or yep. it can be something where we have a lot of shame that stems from that 